Moretti Editions is a um, it's an offshoot of our gallery in North Fremantle, so Bureau Fine Art. And here we're specialising in collectible prints, uh, etchings, and, uh, and posters and, and books, um, and, and designs such as uh, the skate decks that we're currently carrying. At the moment we have Wendy Sharp, who's an um, Archibald winning artist that we show at the Exhibition Gallery. We also have uh, Bernard Ollis and uh, pop, big pop artist at the moment is Johnny Romeo. So they're uh, our core um, pieces at the moment, um, as well as other works by uh, various other artists that we represent and um, other works on paper that uh, come from all around the world. It's a great space here and uh, it's, you know, it's a really nice environment to be presenting art to people with. It's an sort of a, a unusual space. We actually do get our works uh, sent to the gallery um, and a lot of the works are obviously coming from interstate so we deal with printers and um, artists directly, you know, for example Bernard and Wendy, they deliver, they send their work direct to us, um, you know, they're limited edition etchings, you know, they have to be um, made and uh, they, the thing with etchings and collectible works, they all have to be signed by the artists anyway. So for people who are looking to collect more pieces, what are the price ranges um, that you have here tonight? Uh, well, Wendy's uh, limited edition etchings, they start at uh, $450-$500, uh, as do Bernard Ollis um, etchings, and they're all uh, limited to between 20 and 40 um, And then a great price point is the Johnny Romeos. They're priced at only $275 framed, and they are all um, signed by the artist. fantastic gift and uh, a lot of people are buying them as gifts but uh, for someone else in their household so they're also enjoying the artwork when they when they get it home and present that to their special person at home. Not everyone can afford original works, uh, you know you're looking at thousands of dollars for original work by some of our artists so this is a nice entry level um, price point and um, you know it's a great piece of artwork as well so you know best of both worlds. These pieces are new works based on a three foot uh, high sculpture, paper sculpture, and at different times of the day in my studio the, the light reflects through all the layers of rice paper and these shots are actually taken on my um, mobile phone. Yeah? Yeah, so these are all mobile phone shots, which is mobile pretty hilarious. Phone shots. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah. It's been exhibited before. It's a large work that requires quite a dark cavernous space for it to really come alive. Yeah. So here's not really a great um, space for the sculpture, but it's a really great space for the for the inkjet prints. Over 25 years. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, probably since I was probably nine. Yeah. And haven't stopped. Haven't stopped. <laughs> My mother put me under a local artist in a small town in um, East uh, South Victoria called Yarram and I studied under that uh, artist and eventually went to Melbourne studied in Melbourne and, and arrived here. It's really exciting, it reminds me of home in Melbourne um, 20 years ago when Fitzroy was alive and we had festivals in the street and artists were everywhere and we had the Spoleto Fringe. This is just like, like, like it was then. It's really exciting to be a part of it. Yeah. 
name's Dawn, Dawn Clark, and I run the Gossamer Project, which is a vintage and designer recycle store. Um, I've been here since the concept of Maya. I sell good quality and affordable vintage. Um, there's a lot of guys out there who have high end and not cheap, but I'm affordable and I get people coming back week after week because of that. Lots of people come in with their own stock, so they've had bags, clothing in their wardrobes for years and years, and they come in and I will have a look and I will buy. And it's always pretty good quality. Fashion changes, and also even with vintage, it changes too. Uh, you know, a number of years ago, everybody's wearing short shorts. Now girls are suddenly thinking, well, actually, long skirts or long dresses can be just as cool, just as trendy, so they'll, they'll buy that as well. Our shop front, Kate and Abel, is uh, we do sort of a number of different things. Our trade is actually hats. We uh, had a small hat business in London, which we started in a uh, market in East London, and then got picked up by Topshop and Harvey Nichols and a few other big names. So um, we were doing that, but at the same time, Kate's obviously from Perth, um, and so we'd always planned to come and live in Perth. We thought that the a number of people in Perth would never equate to what we were having coming through the door in Topshop and, and Harvey Nichols. So we decided to do what a few of our uh, other buyers had done, which was have these concept stores, which is where they sell hats and all kinds of other brands and different uh, things that they liked and that had a good story behind them. Really nice, well-known brands, nice magazines, uh, kind of hard to find stuff. So over the last few years, we've been traveling around and collecting sort of different ideas and things like that. and. Yeah, we put it all together in this uh, store here. We opened in October, yeah, after a couple of months of crazy uh, prepping and painting and uh, cleaning out the old Maya store, um, painting the whole place white, uh, building a beautiful red velvet curtain around the escalators in the middle of the, of the ground floor, and. Um, yeah, and then basically started coming in. We filled out an application for an expression of interest. And then when we came on board, we realised that um, they actually needed a bit more help with organising it because this was new to everyone at the time. So unlike most other people doing their own business, their new business, they were all working a second job and trying to set up their own business. Kay and I just arrived, so we were kind of living in the sun and the beach, but also trying to set up our own business. So we had time on our hands. So we came on board to help them do that and sub uh, subsequently we've become managers now for the ground floor. Uh, we actually used uh, an old hundred year old uh, press, heated aluminium blocks and um, so what we did was we worked with um, milliners in Luton in England so we would go up there, we would uh, pick the felt, we would see the material, we would feel it, touch it, then we'd look at all their different shapes, we'd select a shape and a size and then we would get small batches made up and blocked for us. Then we would do the design process where we pick the colour schemes, the, uh, the different types of uh, uh, patterns and ribbons that we put on trims and things. And yeah, it kind of snowballed from there, from being in a little market store to all of a sudden being in Topshop on Oxford Circus with half a million people a week coming through the ground floor. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Gallery Watch. If you'd like to come down to see the creative artists and businesses, just come to the Old Meyer Building on Newman Street in Fremantle. Open 10 till 6, Wednesday to Sunday, and later until 8pm on Friday evenings. I'm Nadia Hunter. Thanks for joining us.